Hey, brothers and sisters. Um, I had a little time this morning, so we got to make another video. Uh, I wanted, I found a way to, uh, since, since the enemy, since the enemy, uh, messes with me electronically all the time, and after, uh, my interview with Zen Garcia, I was attacked pretty heavily. You know, I don't know how much, uh, electronic equipment I've had destroyed, because they don't want you to know this. This is, this is the, this is the Rosetta Stone. This is... This is the key to their language, and uh, I, I found a way to actually show you. So let's start off like I like to. Again, the Iron Cross, uh, the ones the Catholic Church wears, the Knights of Malta. This is two-dimensional, right? And this is all about dimensions or frequencies, layers. You know, like the the. Um, light spec, the spectrum of light. It's all layered on top of each other. That's the other realm. It's like a cake. So go from two dimensions, increase your capacity. Three dimensions. So they're hiding in the second dimension what the third dimension is. And that's what they're doing in this realm. The fourth dimension is using the second dimension to control the third dimension. And what's the second dimension? Paper, television, all that nonsense. So try to open your minds a little bit and think about the Tower of Babel, right? Real quick, the Tower of Babel. Why did God have to separate, have to confound the languages? Because people are so controlled by words and they have no idea. You know, like I say red truck. Instantly you think of a thing of red truck. Is that red truck actually those words? Isn't it called something else in another language? I mean, can I just say the, the an X, the simple X represents the red truck? But you're controlled by by the words, you know. Um, Philip K. Dick has a quote about it, and he's saying that people uh, basically that uh, control and define the words, are, uh, the people that use them are controlled, you know. And it's the truth. That's why God had to literally make it to be babble that was coming out of the other people's mouths that were trying to control them, you know. Like if you got a notice from uh, you know a government agency like FBI, you didn't get a letter from the FBI. It didn't pick up a pen. Or a pencil and write you a letter. It's just three letters on a, it's three symbols, three hieroglyphs on a piece of paper. A man or woman had to pick that up. They're dropping in capacity to operate as an agent. An agent is a what, not a who. It's a, it's not real. It's a perfect thing on paper. It's perfect in the second dimension. It doesn't exist in the third dimension. So just like the angels when they came here the ones that sinned, they had to lower their capacity from fourth dimension to third dimension to intercourse with the third dimension. And that's what they do to us. So for us to intercourse with um, the second dimension, we have to come down to the legal person status. Um, we have to drop from man or woman. If you look at any other codes, ordinances, it always says person or persons. And again, person comes from persona. It means a mask an actor wears on stage. And your person, your legal person, is just a hat, a, a member of society. You're the legal society. is no different than the Boy Scout society, except because they believe competition is a sin, that they basically formed a monopoly. And we, everything is by consent, so we've joined that society. But let me, let me show you. I'm able to take this camera off, and we'll pull up. This is the Etymaline website, www.etymonline.com. This gives the oldest meanings for words. So this is a funny one. We'll start off with Donald. Okay. Scottish, 13th century. Uh, world mighty, ruler of the world. That's what Donald literally means. All right. Let's see. Trump. What does Trump mean? Uh, deceive, cheat. Uh, that's good. So he's the world ruler that deceives and cheats. Okay. Suffer. What does suffer mean? Like when pain and suffering in a courtroom? To allow to occur or continue. Permit, tolerate, fail to prevent or suppress. So when if a, ju if a man acting as a magistrate asked if you suffered, 
you just said that you allowed something to occur, you permitted it, you tolerated it. Because in the public, out in the public world, these these wicked ones with their word games, they're using synonyms, they're using, you know, uh, multiple meanings. But in the courtrooms, they're being deadly accurate. They're going with the oldest meaning of a word that we're not taught, of course. We're, you know, we're taught these words mean something else because who controls our schools? That was a big deal to take over the schools to control what we learn. And we think of the word magistrate. Well, what's the first four letters? Magi. Skilled magician, astrologer. Magus, magician, learned magician. They're using word magic. Magus, member of an ancient Persian, Persian priestly caste, late 14th century. Mage, same thing. Okay. What else? Oh, what do they wear? They wear a black robe. Oh, where's the word robe come from? Long, loose outer garment. Okay, we know that. 12th century, a Germanic source. Booty. Uh, robbery. Breakage. Oh, that's good. Presumably the notion is of garments taken from the enemy as spoils. Plunder. Booty. What are they doing from us? They're stealing from us. And we're agreeing to it. With the words we use. This world. Je Jesus Christ is the word of God. God spoke the world into existence. So, of course, our enemy attacks us with words. You know, this, this dual world, this duality, where everything has multiple meanings. Um, what else? And this is what I was talking about with the definitions. So, the word angel. You know, some of the typical ones we know. But then, look, number six. A financial backer of an enterprise, especially a dramatic production or a political campaign. How are we being controlled in this world? Politics, entertainment, uh, other interesting meanings for this too. If you go all the way down, read them all because they're using synonyms. They're using the, Saurus, Theo, God, Saurus, Dragon, Lizard, the Dragon God, the Lizard God. Read them all. You have to read them all because if you think of Think of a tennis court or a basketball court. The white lines around it are the boundaries. You know, they're the lines of demarcation. And this goes the same for uh, court papers or, in this world, definitions of the word. The, the definitions are the lines of demarcation. They are the boundary lines that can be used for those words. So someone could use these words, and it could mean a million different things. You have no idea what they're saying. And God originally did this. He speaks on many levels, um, like the word shout, you know, like when Jesus comes with a shout. This computer has never messed up before. So a shout, loud cry to convey emotion or command. Round of drinks. The ones turn to buy a round of drinks. I think that was a nice little one that our Lord gave us for, um, because he won't drink of the new wine until we're with him. So literally, he's going to be waiting for us and buy us the first round of drinks. Or maybe it's our turn to buy him a round. To utter in a loud cry, yell. To cry out. It's the same meanings as the word claim. And that's what's important with the court stuff. That all these things that they have are complaints. Well, that's second dimension. Persons make complaints. You know, Wawa, Pepsi, Coca-Cola, they're legal persons. If you look up the word person in the legal dictionaries, it'll say um, an LLC, a partnership, a corporation, a fictitious entity. But then the second definition will say uh, an individual according to their rank in a society. And what society are they talking about in this case? The legal society. They're presuming you're a member of the legal society. You have to rebut the presumption in, in writing because it's second dimension, so you have to answer in second dimension. Okay, yell, scream, shriek, ball, holler. What else? Order out of chaos. What does that mean? Please. Order, okay. This has all kinds of meanings. But where's the one? 
any of the nine grades or choirs of angels. Number 12, uh, order. It's talking about any of the nine grades or choirs of angels. So order, order out of one of the grades of angels out of chaos. What's that mean? An abyss, a, pa a chasm. So the angels out of the abyss, that's who they're worshiping. That's the hidden meaning. They're telling us everything in plain sight. It's all hidden. And this one's for uh, Anthony Patch. I love his work. But I just wanted to show a little confirmation. D. What's D? When he talks about the D-Wave computer. Deleth means door. So D is a door. Okay, and there's much more you can if you read everything about it, but D wave. What's a wave? What does that mean? That means to move to and fro. Well, doesn't Satan move to and fro in the earth? So D wave is a door to move to and fro. So so again, they're telling us the man the Mandela effect. It's not Mandela, it's man. Dala. Magic circle. And why is it that? How do I know? Because I'll show you with... This was the Demon Dictionary my wife just happened to get me a few years ago. CERN. LHC, uh, CERN with an E, an obsolete name for a magic circle, trays with a magician's wand to conjure demons. I don't know who that is. So they just tweaked the one name, and it, what's interesting is, remember that, uh, that scientist, what was his name? Uh, L, uh, I forget the CERN scientist that uh, had bond number one. This is what he was talking about. Number one definition. Something such as a fetter, cord, or band that binds, ties, or fastens together. Look at the number ones. To join securely as with glue or cement. Is that like the Lego movie? Uh, good cop, bad cop, craggle. The craggle they're going to use to to control everyone. Uh, something that binds, fastens, or holds together. Same thing. A serf or slave. Then bond one. Electrical force linking atoms. Chemical bond. Attraction. Attractive force. The force by which one object attracts another. Covalent bond. I mean hydrogen bond. Metallic bond. Electrostatic bond. Electrovalent bond, ionic bond, peptide bond, peptide linkage. It, it, look what it's talking about. He was telling us. He was confirming what I'm telling you right now, that it was the number one definition. Stick too firmly. Tie, union, coupling, link, association, relation, connection, alliance, attachment, affinity, affiliation. So what else? I mean, this is, I mean, you can look up anything. I'm telling you, you know, uh, what else? Like the, okay, the, the giants. Why do they call them the Nephilim giants? Well, because a giant doesn't just mean a tall person. Person or thing of great size, a person or thing of extraordinary power, significance, or importance. There's giants in capital, uh, giants in finance. Giants in uh, science, giants in chemistry, uh, you know, that's what we're talking about. It's all kinds of giants. So it was a, they got the powers, the, the giant, the Nephilim, got whatever power that was associated with his father, whatever fallen angel that was. And the words they use, uh, be, beast, creature, brute, titan, behemoth, colossus, heavyweight, important person, influential person, personage. Remember, person, enterprise. We saw that for angel. Financial backer of an enterprise. Uh, Hulk, 
whale, heavyweight, large person, behemoth, colossus, goliath, monster, unusual person, uh, giant star, William the word monster, mon star, man star, man mixed with angels. The angels are called stars in the Bible. The word human, that's one of my favorites. Hue means the color of man. The Bible, the King James Bible, never uses the word human. Always the word, you know, man, people, uh, person, woman. Never says human. What's a human? Modified man, a changed man. The color of man, just like the money we're using, the, the debt notes, the sin notes. That's what we're doing. We're paying for our sins by our labor. That's what they want us to do is, uh, you know, the... Is to pay for is is the works based belief system that you're saved by your works. There's only two belief systems: Old Testament, New Testament. There's only two contracts. Testament is a contract, a covenant. Either you're going to be judged by your works in the other books, in uh, I believe it's Revelation 20:12, or if you have Jesus as a uh, as your husband, the husbandman. Uh, literally say, uh, steward, uh, male head of a household, master of a house, uh, husband, husbandman, head of a family. Like he literally became a bond servant to us. He was our, our, uh, our surety. Like that's what they do. They get us to act as surety for that legal person. They, they create joinder between the actual man and the actual and then the fictitious second dimension person. How they do that a lot of times will, will ID. Let me see your ID. Or your, you know what's better? Your identification. So what are you doing when you show your identification? Treating of a thing as the same as another. Acting of making or providing to be the same. ID. Identify, regard as the same. So when you're identifying, you're showing your identification. You're saying you are that legal person. You are that little card, that little plastic card. That's who you are. And just the word you can create the joinder because you is always plural. Another reason why the King James uses the, the these and the ye and thou because it's proper. It's exact. And in law, since they're both law books, that's where all the law comes from, the the Jew, the Judeo-Christian, it's two different things. Judeo, it's uh, judiciary, it's the Old Testament, it's, you know, the uh, eye for an eye mentality, which eye for an eye is not in the Bible, that was in uh, Code of Hammurabi, I believe, or Talmud, which is all the same stuff. And then there's the New Testament, the new contract, where you're saved by grace, that's what Satan hates. He hates the salvation by grace. To be able to be forgiven. He wants everyone judged. For their actions. So again. You show him your ID. That's creating the joinder. Saying you're a member of the legal society. You're representing that legal person. And you're going to take. Whatever penalty is prescribed. For breaking that code. Again what's a code. You know something we're not supposed to know what it means. Written in a foreign language. Legalese is a foreign language. That's why it has it's own dictionaries. Uh, and I'll even show you something else real quick. Two things. This is one of the dictionaries I have here. But just to show you that you can see, I mean... Uh, there's a, it's a foreign language. It has its own dictionary. This is legalese. You cannot understand what's in legalese. You're not a member of the legal society. And I've told people that, uh, you know, my other videos, how I was woken up was through one prayer. You know, I asked God, I said, if you're real, please just show me. Show me the truth of this world. And, you know, I started being shown everything. You know, uh, it was amazing. And I didn't even realize. I didn't even make the connection until much, much later. And literally, uh, literally a few weeks later, three books were left at my doorstep. Um, two King James Bibles and an old school, like one of those big dictionaries. And after looking up all these words online, I found this definition for legal. 
Get there. Mosaic Law of or pertaining to the doctrine of salvation by good works rather than through grace. So that's why we, we use money for everything. We're paying for our debts, legal tender for all debts. Debt and sin are a synonym. Let me see if I can share that. One second. Better. Something that is due. Uh, debtor. Debt, sin, trespass. Oh, yeah. Like I said, you can look these words up too, you know. Uh, the other one was the free dictionary.com. And, uh, like I said, this is the code book of the enemy. So, you know, CERN, they told us what it means. It's a, you know, a obsolete name for the magic circle wizard, you know, tr traces with their wand. Magic circle. Man Mandala. Mandala effect. Isn't it covered up in that sign that, that uh, scientist is holding? You can't see how exactly it's written. He's telling us bond number one, number one meaning. And like I said, the number one... Uh, you know, James Bond, that could have been in there too. I mean, but I think that was more of a red herring to throw us off. But, but it's telling. They tell us everything in the word. Just look them up and read all the definitions. Or go to the Edema line and look at the oldest one. Um, I have a book that I've been writing the last couple of weeks. I think I'm I'm just editing now. It's like 1,300 pages. I'm probably gonna if I can find a place to put it out for free. That's probably what I'm gonna do. Um, just because I feel like this this information isn't from me. It's from the Holy Spirit. It's way beyond me. So I don't feel like I should, you know I was given it freely. I feel like I should give it out freely. But it's connecting all this and it's showing how everyone's research they're doing. This is the missing piece. That this is the code they're using. This is the, the speech that they're using. They're controlling us by words and what we think they mean. They're letting us, like in, in law, number one, I like the King James because laws, good law is expressed. It's perfect. That's not implied. So I believe the King James literally word for word. I don't know how many words and things I've looked up in a sentence and gotten so much more hidden information from God. So in law, that's that's what they're doing. They're, it's the law... Like uh, when George Bush said, uh, you know, we have the rule of law as opposed to the uh, law of the jungle or rule of the jungle. You know, he's saying they are playing by the letter of the law. And that's the two difference. The Old Testament is the letter of the law. And the New Testament is the spirit of the law. What, what, what the intention of the law, what it really meant, not the letter, because the letter can be twisted and perverted. You know, again, the, my, uh, a good example is about cutting the grass. You know, a kid says to... The mother or father, you know, so you're going to cut the grass? And he says, oh, can I do it tomorrow? And they say yes. And then tomorrow, the next day comes, and uh, the father will say, you know, it's, you're going to cut the grass now? It's time to cut the grass. And he's like, no, I, we agreed on tomorrow. It's today. It's just that that's exactly what they're doing, you know? The word shall, it's future tense. You shall do something. Um, every person. You know, you're, not, you're not expressly written into any of these contracts. You know, that any of these, it's all consent, even at the end of a court case, and, and they're waiting for you to agree at the end, especially in these district courts. Oh, that's what I wanted to show you. That was one of my favorites. District, like in the Hunger Games or what they've broken us down into, what does a district literally mean? District. Under the jurisdiction of a lord or officer. Restraining of offenders. The District of Columbia. What lord is it under? To hinder, detain. So, I mean, they're telling us everything. Telling us everything. I don't know. I guess that's about it. I mean, like I said, I can sit here and type in words all day long, but until you start getting that that's what's going on it's a child it's a childish game that they're doing you know uh, making a complaint against you you know against the legal person you know uh, well well that's great what's a complaint you know 
It's not a claim. No one's ever swearing that it's true or caused them harm, injury, or loss. That's a claim. So that's what they're using. These, these. So when people are trying to bring up the Constitution or this or that, that's not what's operating. The, the moving party is bringing you under these legal codes. And, and that's the crazy part is these codes aren't even the, the law. Congress or the you know the legislators will make a public law. It'll be thousands of pages, and in there it's going to say things like you know as long as you know uh, harm done, you know and uh, property damaged, uh, you know lost or caused, then you haven't broken the law. And it's public law. It's for when you're out in the public, not in your private property. So what they do then is to literally en enroll it and put it at the Capitol. And then a Canadian corporation, Thompson's Publishing, will come in and codify it. They'll make it into those two or three phrases that are written in code again, because they, they'll still end up saying ways to get out of it, playing their word game. But uh, they'll, they'll give their interpretation of what they believe the public law says. So that no law is ever even coming into any court. You know, it, it's just a code. Like the Boy Scout code. Or, you know, it, it's absolutely insane. So we're, people are getting in trouble and being fined and going to jail based on the interpretation of the public law written by a Canadian corporation, a bunch of lawyers from Canada. That, that How does that make sense? I don't know. I just figured this was a good way to show you guys. And uh, uh, I've been talking to Richie from Boston or email, a couple emails yesterday and trying to show him this stuff and... Uh, I, don't know, I may be on that show. Uh, that's the way it seems like, and he's supposed to get a hold of me, or we're supposed to set up a time. And hopefully, I can get this out to more people, because if more people understand this, it, I mean, this is huge. You know, not only for your understanding with God, which is the main important, the most important thing in the Bible, it it is to actually have public servants acting like public servants again. We don't need a violent uprising. They're doing their job by the letter of the law. We just have to be more specific. You know, we have to know who we are. It's a belief. It's not a it's not a trick. It's a belief. When you know you're man and not, you know, some legal legal person, you believe with us. You believe your rights are given to you by God and rights your rights are your property. You know, property is your ideas, your thoughts, your feelings. You know, um, it's like look at copyrights and stuff. You know, it, it's it's tr it's true. It's all true. It's just what you believe. And this world is the world of make believe. You know, Jesus constantly said, "By your belief, you could you were healed." By your belief, uh, when he walked on water, uh, and it was a Peter that that fell in the water. You know, he stopped believing, so that's why he fell. You know, we could do anything in this world if we believe. And the more you look up these words, it literally is like the Matrix. You start seeing the the zeros and ones, like the binary code. Like that's what it is. These letters and these numbers. Uh, Matrix, uh, Neo, means new. His last name was Anderson. Ander means man, son, son of man. Neo, new son of man. And who did he fight? He fought the Smith, which if you look on the etymology, etymology type in Smith, or uh, you type in Cain, the word Smith will come up. So it was Cain, it was the good cop, bad cop. Both were being controlled, both were being backed by the, the architect, great, and the great architect of the universe, the engineer, the master builder so either way they won it's the wide and broad the wide and broad path the word Catholic literally means universal religion if you look that up liberal wide broad so anything other than belief in Jesus and salvation by grace you're technically Catholic you know even when you look up words like pagan you know or uh, atheist Pagan doesn't just mean the belief in many gods, it belie means belief in no god. So if you think you're an atheist, you're a pagan. That's your belief. It's, it's all works-based. The, they're all subcategories of works-based belief through levels, degrees, you know. And if you're incompetent, I was going into this before, God showed me this, that why the devil did what he did in the, or his son actually did in the garden, Apollyon, that's who I believe was in the garden. Um, that's why he's in the in the in the bottomless pit. That's why he's the king. That's why I think he's been in there all this time is for his action there. He was the fruit of the tree, and the word tree means uh, a figure that branches from a single genealogical root, one that has no no grandfather, came directly from God, no great grandfather, so on. You know that there were, you know, 
directly from the source. So Satan's a tree, Adam's a tree, we're all fruit of that tree. Uh, I don't know where I was going. It's all, oh, okay, the, the reason that the, the, the serpent did what he did was because Adam and Eve didn't know, they had no knowledge of good and evil. So they were incompetent. They weren't competent. They were idiots in, in uh, good and evil. They didn't know there was, and that's why I believe we get the chance we get here, you know, because they were incompetent. So we all, they had to have a fair test or a fair trial because they only had one rule, and they did break that rule, was to not eat of that tree. But as for the rest, they were incompetent. So now we're all going through that trial, the fair trial of, of, uh, of the choice of good and evil, what we're going to do. The Old Testament, we're going to take the Old Testament and go by that, or the New Testament. And because God loved us and he, he's perfectly just, he knew we had to have that punishment because the law, the, their law was broken, but he knew they were incompetent. So he, he literally came here as a man, just like Adam, you know, Adam, we're all blood relatives. So the blood debt that's being paid back, Jesus came as one of us. So we're all by blood related to Jesus and he paid that blood debt for us. So that's what it is. It's all about this debt being paid. And it has already been paid if you believe it, if you accept it. You don't have to. You can stay in jail if you want to. You know, it's, it's your choice. You don't have to be released. If someone bails you out of jail, you, you can refuse. I don't know why you would. You know, uh, another good word to look up is alien. You know, when they have these aliens. It's alien. 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 So the aliens, and they're not of this world, so they're technically aliens. But the word also means... A lean, like you have a lean on something. They have a lean on this world, a lean on us. Uh, there's so many. Uh, what else? Oh, the 21 days. God finally showed me that, what the 21 days was. Why the, Daniel, the angel coming to Daniel was held up for the 21 days. Because in common law, when one makes a claim, the other side has 21 days to answer, to respond. You know, or to try to settle the matter in the private as opposed to bringing it into the public. I think there, the opposing angel was using that as a stalling tactic just to keep the angel from Daniel. So they are going by the law. Everyone's operating by the law. If not, why wouldn't they just wipe us out? Even if you don't believe in God and, and you're believing in the alien stuff, you know, why wouldn't they just do what they're doing? Why are they being held off? Because they're following some law. And I hear, I hear people say like, oh, it's, it's intergalactic law. Okay, well, who's the lawgiver? There has to be a lawgiver if there's law. If there's rules in each realm or circle of the earth, circle, realm, uh, a dimension, uh, arena, stadium. That's why back there I have that picture of the, the Colosseum. Because it's like the flat earth. It's uh, literally like every one of these definitions too when you look up always have to do with a the theater or being on a stage. Or uh, like persona, the mask an actor wears. Uh, angel, a financial backer of a th uh, theatrical production. William Shakespeare, what did he say? The whole world's a stage and we're actors upon it. That's what he was talking about. Like, this is literally a, a trial. It's a play. And also, I think, a scientific experiment. Because you think about, if the world's a flat world with some kind of dome, whether it be electromagnetic or whatever, it's like a Petri dish. And, or, a, or a room where an experiment's going on. And if the experiment goes bad, how do you, how do you make sure it doesn't get out? how it does and how do you quarantine it? You either flood the room or you burn the room. Well, wasn't the first time a flood when the Nephilim, that virus got out and the second time is going to be by fire? Trial. Right there, uh, clinical trial, clinical test, scientific test. So that's what I got for you today. Uh, like I said, if someone knows a good place that uh, uh, or how to do a website or something. I can put that book on maybe. Uh, I'm just doing some editing and some highlighting right now on it. But like I said, it's like 1,300 pages of all this if you're really into it. Um, and a lot of those are the de like all the definitions. I'm trying just to highlight. But, you know, all those definitions and a lot of these words are going to have computer definitions too. So if someone knows a lot about computers, they're going to see how it is like the matrix, which literally means a womb. Uh, but it'll have other meanings too. Uh, I'll have, you know, scientific definitions. It always has theatrical definitions. Like, it, it's it's everything. It's all, it's all going on at one time. 
uh, I think that's it. I got to go for now. Uh, God bless you all, and hopefully uh, Richie from Boston will get me on that show, and I can try to get this out to more people so they understand. Because once more people get this and run with it and start looking up everything, they're going to get it. They're just going to instantly get it. And for the common law part, check out, again, Carl Lentz, K-A-R-L-L-E-N-T-Z. He found the missing pieces of that, how to, how to do the claim, the claim versus the complaint, how to actually move your own court, not to be in, like all those words count, in. You're not in. Are you inside of a rock? Are you in, in Pennsylvania? No, I don't know what a Pennsylvania is. You know, your address, they give you the address. Did you create that? The author is the owner, the author, the authority. So if my, uh, if the address of the building I was in was 123 Deception Street, well, that's not my name for it. That's why you see the rich people come up with Rockefeller Plaza, Wayne Manor, uh, you know, the so-and-so compound, the so-and-so ranch, because they're naming their property. You know, I don't know what a 123 Deception Street is. Can you please define that? Are you talking about my property? Like, this, you don't want to fight with these people because that's the reason they can bring you into court. You just want to be like a child back to them, you know, like ask questions. Are you talking about my property? What is a 123 Deception Street? Is any man claiming that, you know, I've done wrong? Like, you, they'll never say you did wrong. All they can say is you violated a code because wrong is the worst thing you can do, you know, right and wrong. Wrong. But then, you know what I mean? Like, it's what we all know when we're children. That's why the Bible's telling us to be as children. It's simple, common sense, common law. And we're all kings and queens in this in this country. But even that is, you know, based upon belief because there are imaginary lines on a second dimension map. You know, there's no races, black, white. It's just your skin changed color over time <laughs> due to your climate or, you know, it was a to protect your body. That's what your body does. I mean, if I'm in the sun a lot, won't my skin get dark? And then if I stay there for generations, won't my kids start getting naturally darker skin? I mean, it, the only races there are is the seed of the woman and the seed of the serpent. Those are the two races. And they just pit us against each other every which way. So they can keep doing their work. They keep us employed. What's a ploy? A trick? A ruse? Uh, you know, that's what they're doing. Getting us to be occupied, occupation, or business, keep you busy, just so they can keep doing their their great works, as they call it, and we just stay out of the way. We're just occupied like little children. All right, guys, have a great day. Uh, God bless you, and hopefully I'll, I'll make another one soon.